Hello everybody. This is the tutorial about KiCad to understand how to reverse engineer or make a copy from a photo of any PCB that you have. It might be a, a single sided or double sided. Today I will tell you how you can take a snapshot of a PCB and convert it into PCB or manufacturable format. For any PCB, so I have one sample in uh, which is saved uh, in computer, and I will tell you some steps one by one. First is uh, click a pic and edit perspective to the dimension in export. So in this step, what we are going to do is uh, take a snapshot of any PCB that you want to convert into the PCB format. And you consider this is a PCB. Now, if you take a snapshot of a PCB or pick up a PCB, it is not uh, as a one to one scale. So, you have to make it as a one to one scale. So, the software which is helpful here is a GIMP. In this uh, in GIMP, you can give the dimension or a cutout uh, or consider any scale and you can just set up the perspective for it. So um, you can do it by file new and here you can give millimeter say I want to this is uh, 50 by 40 I am just taking it as an example so this is 50 by 40 I have set up uh, dimension then I will set up ok now I will copy it copy by edit copy and I will paste it here So this image I have to set up a perspective. So I will go into perspective option. This is a perspective. Then I will set it up. Perspective. Now you, you will have uh, dimension wise PCB. Why I am using perspective is because if your camera is tilted uh, with reference to the PCB it will it will be out of the perspective. You have to set it up and give the dimension of the PCB. Now as you have created the PCB uh, or the pick of the PCB you just export it and save it as a png which will be then imported to the KiCad. now i will open the KiCad. this is i have made one project as a this i consider it as a reverse and in the pcb in the pcb editor i have come to the pcb editor now how to import that pcb into the pcb editor here is the option place add image here i will import that image so this is the reverse this is the image and i will import that image now this is the image which is imported inside the kaikai so the same image now we are going to set up according to the dimension here i have taken one diode you can choose the footprint as per the component uh, on there uh, uh, it's it's a capacitor so you can use any footprint or such as a diode or capacitor and you can use it as a as a component footprint so i have given one match here and the same way you will you can find for say, diode then resistor then other capacitors then transistors now in this part i will now only component you have put up but what about the tracks now the track you can give in as a simple procedure now i have selected as a front copper and now here you can see these are the tracks but you don't know the width use the measure tool and just check what is the width of it so i for it it's it's 0.4 so i will set it here as a 0.4 width 0.4 mm you can set it anything as per your needs so i have set up 0.4 i mean i can set it better to 0.4 as a default 
now i am in the routing mode now as here i am in routing mode here i can draw the tracks now what is the next step second part is import image in KiCad and pcb net and footprint whichever is needed now in this part what uh, what we are seeing is we can select the footprint and we can draw the tracks but what about netlist now the third part is a netlist mapping in the netlist mapping you will be uh, now we don't know what is a netlist which part is connected where and as it is uh, for which pcb which track is where uh, we completely don't know in that position in the it, uh, it that situation you just start your routing say i have started this routing as per the track say this is the track this is the track now i can also draw it from here but what if these two tracks are not meant to be connected to each other so in that situation you just give it a net here is a net now this is the directly pcb uh, designing so you don't have any net list so you can queue net one so here's a create net option it will it will create that net so this is okay so this net has been created now if you try to set this track it will not get connected <coughs> so in this way you can set this also so this is net two create net change nets so this is net two in this way you can set complete pcb from the image next is a port export now this is the pcb you have set up the footprints you have selected the footprints you have drawn the tracks now how to export it to export you just make age for the pcb say this is the age okay this is the age we can see this pcb in 3d format also okay we can see, see this pcb i have not completed compl uh, completed pcb so we have put two footprints and one uh, practical for the track so in this way you can complete completely make a whole pcb from the image so there is no need to schematic in the in the in designing this pcb you have not made any schematic this is the reverse engineering type of project so in this way you can make a copy of any pcb by knowing uh, which footprint uh, are there which track width are there and what is the placement and how to export it now in this way you can export the whatever the files you want Mm, or the fabrication uh, fabrication gerber files so this was the tutorial uh, where we designed one pcb from the image i hope you like it